Hi guys! Uh, today um, I want to tell you about schools in Canada and how it works, how you can uh, put your kids in the school when you have to apply and when you have to send all documents. Uh, how it works? In Canada, kids can go to school um, when they are four years old. Sometimes you can keep them at home uh, for one year and uh, then you have to send them to school which belongs to your district where, where you live. So every single address um, related to some schools. You can send your child to another school or uh, to another town or another part of your city, let's say. That's why people choose carefully uh, where they want to buy a house or their, uh, where they want to rent it out. Uh, because of schools we have a website where you can check ratings for the schools and uh, it's very important the higher rank the school has uh, the higher level of education they will get and sometimes some schools um, they work um, uh, they use the programs from university and uh, people uh, from the school they can go to university with no exams um, we have few schools in Richmond Hill they are one of the best in the um, in the area in the GTA and uh, you have to choose carefully uh, where you want to live when you come in here public schools they are absolutely free you have uh, no payments no obligations all you have to uh, uh, bring your child and you have to buy a backpack for him and also you have to bring uh, lunches to school that's it uh, you don't have to pay for anything uh, schools are open uh, approximately 8 to 9 usually it's 8 30 and they works until uh, 3 to 4 depending on the area in the school so technically if you work in parent your working hours 9 to 5 usually uh, you have to find program or babysitting for before and after school and you have to pay for this some schools they have uh, rooms so they have um, daycare uh, in in their facilities so you have to pay for this uh, program usually you have to apply for the school starting in january maybe february um, of the year and um, um, how it works in the school um, can go let's say kids we're talking about um, junior kindergarten right now they can accept kids who will be four years old by the calendar the uh, end of the year by december 31st even if your kid will be four in december 30th you can send them to school so technically uh, your kid won't be four uh, when school started and school started here uh, by the way first Monday of September it's not September 1st like in some countries it's first Monday uh, in September and even sometimes Monday could be long weekend uh, so you can send kids on a Tuesday and when you uh, get application package uh, you can apply for school bus if you live outside of the area of the walking distance or if you don't have a car and you need some help with the school buses sometimes they have some small fees for the bus but they they affordable they like 40 dollars or something a year sometimes i don't know honestly we never order school bus because we live pretty close to school and usually we drop them off uh, there before school but you can find out this information on the website each school they have a website and they have uh, parental access to them to this website so you have your own login and password so you can always go there and check um, our kids my uh, older one she's in um, um, kindergarten right now she's going to grade one next year it's an elementary school uh, so we don't have much activities there because it's kindergarten they learn a lot of stuff but it's not like serious stuff is homework or something like that it's it's very simple stuff so uh, in my profile in my cabinet you can call it in any way um, when I put my credentials there I, I cannot see much activity except uh, their schedule for the months and some uh, PA days it's a day when um, kids usually at home because 
teachers, I don't know what they have. They have some sort of activities. They have to get together, discuss some problems or some, I don't know, they have their own agenda. Sometimes public schools, uh, they have French immersion classes. What does it mean? That um, uh, they teach everything in French and they have English only like... Um, like subject like separate subject uh, like few times a week and uh, it's a great experience if you want your child to know French and usually um, they can start in grade one they don't have a French immersion program in kinder kin kindergarten so kids um, uh, will will speak and learn everything in English and it's it, it's a good enough for them to know and uh, to keep this language and um, in French immersion I think it's a great idea for them to learn and I know some kids who uh, speaks fluently French after French immersion school why it's great uh, because you know that Canada is bilingual and um, uh, we have two official languages it's uh, English and French and all government position and a lot of position they require uh, knowledge of uh, and not just knowledge you have to speak French fluently and it's a great benefit first of all when you go to um, uh, visit let's say Quebec or New Brunswick and you can <laughs> express yourself in French and of course to get a better position and get better paid in the future. We have two types of public schools. Uh, it's a regular public school um, in every area and also we have Catholic schools, Catholic public schools. They are free also, you don't have to pay. Uh, but sometimes they have um, uh, uniforms, so you have to buy uniforms, usually it's like uh, once or twice a year, it depends on the age of a uh, child and how fast they are growing. And um, maybe sometimes you have to pay for some, uh, I don't know, some little stuff. We don't have experience with uh, Catholic schools, so there is no much we can explain about this. Our kids go to regular uh, public school and we're very happy with that. And uh, our youngest, she is almost four. She'll be four in two weeks and she's going uh, to public school as well. The most interesting part that um, in your district could be few schools, uh, like even few public schools or one public school and one Catholic school. And uh, it's up to you to find out this information before you send your kids. And you can also uh, check um, uh, ratings of the school on the website and you can ch check uh, all this information it's available um, all the time also we have uh, private schools uh, private schools usually you have to pay some fees sometimes they are monthly fees yearly fees quarterly fees it depending on the school and they could be completely different they can start at five Buck, 500 bucks a month and oh, sometimes they are like 30,000 uh, a semester so it could be completely different depending on the level of the school on the services they provide and uh, they, we have very fancy schools like St. Andrew's uh, school it's very famous school uh, located in uh, Aurora between Aurora and Newmarket and it's uh, very very expensive school and sometimes even if you have enough money to pay for this they can refuse um, your application because you don't have enough connections you don't have enough references so but we don't have again much experience about this type of schools so this is pretty much all it's basic information about school system in Canada and when you have to apply for uh, to have your child to be placed in in certain school and if you have any questions please just always you can always uh, comment and send us uh, messages and we'll be happy to help you and answer your questions please subscribe to our channel for more interesting information and videos about Canada bye Thank you.